Resident Evil 4 is by far my favorite game of the franchise. It perfectly combines action, horror and thrill. I got all excited when I heard that a remaster was going to be released next year, so I couldn't help but play the original game from 2005. Now, the game is supposed to take place in Spain, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't local native speakers who recorded the voices. So I wanted to ask my Spanish friends if I was right, and if so, what I think about it. To set the context for those who haven't played the game, you'll encounter Spanish villagers who will eventually become zombies. Those who have played the game know what I'm talking about. These villagers are called ganados in the game, and the first interaction with one was actually pretty convincing to me. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! By the way, I always thought it was very odd that he would turn around from that side when the other one is way faster. Anyway, the more I progressed in the game, the more I found that the accent was less and less consistent. No dejas que escape de la isla vivo. So that's No dejes que escape de la isla vivo. Don't let him escape the island alive. I believe the famous Spanish Jota should be way harder. No dejes. And I'm also doubtful about the V sound, but it should sound closer to a B, so vivo. No dejes que escape de la isla vivo. No dejes que escape de la isla vivo. After the villagers, you'll start encountering cultists. Here are a few examples. Let me isolate some examples for you. Cerebro, cerebro, cerebros. Cerebros, cerebros, cerebros. So that means brains, brains. But in Spain, it should be pronounced cerebros. Th, like in think. By the way, I find it very funny that these Spanish villagers, who clearly don't speak English at all, would suddenly call their master Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler. Later on, there is a scene where Leon is eavesdropping a conversation, and this is what he hears. I know it's not very easy to hear, and I'm not 100% sure, but I hear, ¿Y si la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra? Tienes razón. And if the plague, which is the game's virus, and if the plaga is much better than ours, you're right. And again, the jota should have been harder, and razón should have been pronounced razón, with the Spanish zeta, mucho mejor que la nuestra, tienes razón. But let's give the game the benefit of the doubt and pretend that there are people from Latin America living in this small Spanish village in the middle of nowhere. I think I still have the perfect example from a memorable key character, and this is how he introduces himself. Me llamo Ramón Salazar. Again, he should have pronounced his name Salazar with a Spanish Zeta. Me llamo Ramon Salazar. Now, I'd like to believe that most of the people living in Latin America know these slight differences with Spanish from Spain. In fact, sometimes they would make fun of the accent, so I wonder if Spanish is the first language of the voice actor. Not to criticize, the rest of the performance is absolutely amazing. I actually found the Spanish version of the game for the Latin American market, and they did make the changes. Pensaba que no nos íbamos a ver nunca. ¿Quién eres tú? Me llamo Ramón Salazar. But I'm curious, is it something that would annoy people living in Spain or even players in Latin America who would notice that the accent doesn't sound European? Because when I was in Spain, people were very strict about the pronunciation and they would have corrected me if I said cerebros instead of cerebros. So I really doubt they would speak that way unless there are remote parts of Spain where they could speak like that, but I don't buy it from Ramon because he's a nobleman so he should be speaking standard Castilian. Actually, I know that there are a lot of Latinos living in Spain and if that's your case, let me know in the comments, but did you adapt your accent to the local European one. But I just felt like the game was perfect up until I heard people speaking Spanish. Because I'm sure it makes no difference whatsoever to an American player or a non-Spanish speaker. So I think it would have been the detail that would have made the game more realistic. I don't want to assume anything, but it could give the image that the developers just don't care. Spanish is Spanish. Who cares about accent and linguistic diversity? Or maybe they just don't know and that's why I'm here for, to tell them how some people might feel. If I had to give a more understandable example, try to picture Leon with a British accent, I'm an investigator from the United States of America, and I was wondering if you might recognize the person on this photograph. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know who actually makes the decisions for anything related to languages, but since Capcom is Japanese, it'd be like playing the game Yakuza taking place in Osaka, but with characters speaking with a flawless standard accent from Tokyo. Actually, the accent is one thing, but I caught a few mistakes as well. There is a small part of the game where you play Ashley, the president's daughter. But when enemies see her, they keep saying the same things to her that we're saying to Leon, like Matalo. The door's locked, I can't open it! Matalo! She's a girl, so they should be saying 
Matala instead of Matalo. First of all, if it makes sense for the main hero, it's not the case for her because their boss wants to keep her alive in order to inject her with a virus and then send her back to the US. One more detail that's more cultural than language related, the currency of the game is the pesetas. This used to be the Spanish currency for more than a century, but when the game originally came out in 2005, the country had changed its currency to Euro, which is the one they're using right now. Though to be fair, there was a transition period and the old coins were still used in remote areas like this village. But I wonder what they chose for the remaster. Alright, priorities kept changing and I took a bit of time before editing this video, so since I recorded it, so much time passed and the game is not coming out next year but in a few weeks. Now, I saw some gameplay teasers and it appears they kept the pesetas as the currency of the game. So that's that, but we'll see what they chose to do for Spanish. All this to say that I really hope video game developers and movie productions will invest a bit more resources in studying the local language and culture when presenting a certain geographical region. If you need a consultation, you can always ask me. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Am I being too harsh or did you feel the same way when you were playing? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe to support this channel. Nos vemos!